Okay, in Photoshop, we want to show you how to uh, manually stitch a uh, oversized document together that, that's been scanned. In this case, it's a map. Uh, wouldn't quite fit on the scanner, so we scanned it in two parts. Now, one thing you want to be sure you do, you scan it in part A and then part B, but both parts need to have uh, enough overlap to take care of it, as you can see here. So, go to map part A. We'll take uh, go over here to the background and double click on that and change it to layer 0. Now that way it'll have a transparent background. Go to image canvas size. We want to take we want this part to go that way and the width to go say 24. That's double what the width is now. And that gives us a nice open space to put the other map. So we take our uh, move tool and click drag that into the uh, the new space and we can move that around and we don't need that so we're going to get rid of that and just now as you can see over here we have two layers and what we want to do is line them up best we can manually now that's pretty close, but what I'm going to do is go to my zoom, and then I'm going to put this top layer uh, and adjust the opacity to say 70% or so. Now I can see a double image to line them up with. Now uh, <clears throat> if you have trouble with this, you can use the arrow keys to move the image around in little steps. So uh, you can go up and down, left and right. So now I've got it pretty well lined up, and I'm going to go put the opacity back to 100%, and then I'm going to zoom out. I'm using the uh, mouse wheel to do the zoom in and out with, which I have Photoshop set for. You can use the uh, navigator, as you see here. Okay, now you'll notice that... Uh, for whatever reason, uh, in this tutorial, the, uh, the scan on the right side came out a little darker. Uh, otherwise, we'd be pretty much done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, down here to my uh, I'm going to go down here to the mask, and I'm going to add. Click on layer one. That's the top layer. First, uh, then I'm going to apply a mask. Then I'm going to go to over here to the black and make sure I, my color is set to 100% black. Then I'm going to go to the gradient tool and I'm going to shift, click, and drag that across here. And that will pretty much smooth that transition out so that you don't really notice it so much. Now you can also go to the uh, image on the right and then just adjust that's a uh, Apple L will give you a uh, levels and you can go into the levels and you can pump those up a little bit so it matches better so once you're done that looks pretty good to me it's all one image you just flatten that image file save as whatever you want to call it, merged, and uh, you're done.